What's up, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free Major League Baseball home run prop show for Tuesday, August 22nd, 2023. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Smash that thumbs up. It helps us out a ton. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure you head on over to PickDogs.com. Click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Well, let's get to this one. This uh, home run prop show for... Uh, Tuesday, see I'm still in video mode where I say let's get to this one. Let's get to our home run prop show for Tuesday. Had a decent day with the home run props yesterday. Managed to sneak out a total of five winners. But the thing is, we don't have this happen often. Five winners coming from two games. You know, we, we the rest of the card, yeah, we, we were close on some, but unfortunately couldn't nail everything. But again, managed to hit a couple of, uh, of plays. And, you know, if you managed to put them in the same game parlays, I had one that was the same game parlay, and I'll mention it uh, when we get to the recap. Uh, you, you had a nice chunk of change coming back your way. Uh, there were a couple different ways you could have bet the, the props that we hit and uh, made some nice plus money. Uh, but before we get into the recap, I want to remind everybody, these home run props are very high risk, high reward. They're not plays that I recommend anybody dump their whole bankroll into. They're just plays that are there for some side action. Just to have some fun with for some pizza money or some coffee money. Nothing to go too crazy over. Now, I do give out a ton of home run props on this, on this show, but... Um, the, thing, the important thing is to remember that, you know, you don't have to play every single one that I give out here, but the ones that you like, I would just recommend playing straight up as single bets. Um, but I do know also like some people like to parlay these home run props. So I, what I recommend is if you're playing a home run prop parlay that's three legs or more, I recommend looking into a round robin. Most sports books offer it. If not, you're able to do it yourself. It just takes a little bit more work. Basically, you're going to take the parlay that you have, the biggest parlay that you have, and break it down into smaller parlays. You're going to have to you know, put a little bit more money into it, a little bit more of your bankroll into it. Um, but it's going to give you a safety net in the event that, you know, one of the, the parlay legs, you know, gets messed up. How many times have we all had that three or four leg parlay that we always say, oh, we were one leg off, but because we didn't have a round robin, you know, it uh, we didn't get paid. But hey, if you bet a four, uh, like, say you do a four leg parlay and you cover off all the combinations of threes and twos, if you're a $5 better, it makes that $5 bet 55 bucks. It sounds like a lot. But you're playing 11 different parlays, and all you got to do is really hit one, maybe two, to get your your money back and some profit. So definitely, it's just something worth looking into if it's within your means, and if it's within the, uh, you know, if it's something that your you know your book offers. And like I said, even if it doesn't, you're able to do it on your own. Just like I said, it takes a little bit of work. But let's get into the uh, the home run prop recap from yesterday that we managed to hit, managed to uh, hit three total, all three home runs actually from this uh, from this uh, Tigers and Cubs game we managed to sniff out. Had Seiya Suzuki come through at a nice plus 700 payday. Um, this was the same game parlay that I had. I had Kerry Carpenter at plus 600 and Spencer Torkelson both come through. Uh, he came through at plus 390. They went back-to-back. -back. I think they went back-to-back -back on back-to-back -back pitches, if I'm not mistaken. It was back-to-back -back at bats for sure. I don't know if it was back-to-back -back pitches, but either way, both of them came through there. Um, another pl play you could have made, we hit Cal Raleigh at plus 310, but you also could have hit, if your book offers it, Cal Raleigh for two-plus home runs. I think I saw that going off somewhere around plus 1,700. Um, yeah, it was a great day for Raleigh. A nice bounce back day for him as well. Um, but again, that was yesterday. Today is a new day. And uh, we also caught Teoscar Hernandez at plus 480 as well uh, for the nice uh, plus money payout. Now, uh, before we get into the home run props for Tuesday, I want to remind everybody, I love interacting with you guys. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you like the angle I took with some of these games with the players? Do you not like them? Do you have player props of your own? Let me know. But again, if you're going to let me know, drop them in the comments. But if you're going to do that again, drop them in there before the game start. If they're not in there before the game start, they don't help anybody. And we're trying to beat the books as a team here at Pick Dogs. One team, one goal. The goal remains the same, whether it's spreads, money lines, totals, player props, every single day. You name it. Again, the goal remains the same. And that is to get each and every one of us paid. I think we're going to do that with these home run props today. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're going to go back to the scene of the crime for this Cubs and... Uh, and uh, Tigers matchup, a bit of a different matchup today, though. You know, yesterday we had some advantages with uh, with with the Tigers up against uh, uh, you know up against a, a righty, but now they're up against a lefty here. The only one that's been having some major success against lefties for the Tigers lately is Spencer Torkelson. He's going off again at plus three ninety here. Um, he's got two home runs against lefties in the last ten days with a five hundred average. His last three at bats against the lefty has had two uh, balls with an exit velocity over ninety nine miles per hour. Uh, he's going against Drew Smiley, who's allowed eight home runs and giving up a home run in four straight starts. He's allowed one home run in five of his last six starts. Smiley has 10 total. So I'm going to go with Spencer Torkelson at plus 390. I was going to look at Seiya Suzuki 
at plus 750. Like I said, he cashed first yesterday. Also has three home runs against right-handed pitching in the last 10 days with a 348 average. He's going up against Reese Olsen here, who has allowed five home runs in his last six starts. Four or more runs in four of his last five. I think Suzuki could potentially add another one here. So I'm going to take Seiya Suzuki at plus 750. I'm also going to look at Cody Bellinger at uh, plus 600. He's got two home runs, four extra base hits with a 286 batting average in the last 10 days against right-handed pitching. So I'm going to take Cody Bellinger at plus 600. Now moving on to this matchup between the Rockies and the Rays. I'm going to go with the trio of Rockies here. I'm going to go with Ezekiel Tovar at plus 650. Now Zach Littell been pretty good, but he has given up a home run in back-to-back starts for the Rays. Tovar hitting 375 with about three homers, four extra base hits in the last 10 days against righties. So will take Ezekiel Tovar at plus 650. I'm also going to look at Ryan McMahon for the Rockies at plus 500. He's hitting 273 with two home runs against righties in the last 10 days. So Ryan McMahon at plus 500 and Charlie Blackman at plus 480. He's hitting 438 with two homers, three extra base hits against righties in the last 10 days. So give me Charlie Blackman at plus 480. Now let me know in the comments if you guys have any plays on the Rays in that game. I really wanted to pay, play against Colorado sending Ty Block to the mound here who has a lot of home run in each of his last three starts, but I'm not really loving many Rays against lefties as of late. So let me know if you guys are playing any Tampa Bay bats in that one. Uh, for the Pittsburgh Pirates, we're going to go with Andrew McCutcheon. At plus 480, this is a matchup play for me here as, as he's going up against Adam Wainwright, who really should have hung it up last year, an ERA over eight. He's just been absolutely terrible this season. And McCutcheon, a career 313 average with three homers. And of his 25 hits against Adam Wainwright, 11 have gone for extra bases. So I'm going to take Andrew McCutcheon here at plus 480. I'm also going to look at Brian Reynolds at plus 460. He's got three homers, four extra base hits in the last 10 days against right-handed pitching. So take Brian Reynolds at plus 460. And on the other side for the St. Louis Cardinals, we're going to go with Nolan Arenado at plus 450. This is a 333 average for Arenado with two homers against right-handed pitching in the last 10 days. Now, Johan Oviedo, starting for the Pirates here, he has been better as of late, but he is still out of home running back-to-back starts. I think if any Cardinal is going to get to Oviedo here, likely going to be Nolan Arenado. So give me Nolan Arenado at plus 450. And moving on to this matchup between the Yankees and the Nationals. I'm going to go with a a couple of Nationals bats here. I'm going to go with Lane Thomas at plus 575. Carlos Radon starting for the um, the Yankees today. An ERA over seven. He's been absolutely dreadful. Eight home runs allowed in six starts and a home run, at least one or more, in five of those six. Lane Thomas, over the course of the season, has been my trusted Nationals bat all year against lefties. He's also hitting 308 in the last 10 days against Southpaws. So I'm going to go with Lane Thomas at plus 575. I'm also going to look at Stone Garrett at plus 460. Six of the balls that Garrett has put in play this month against left-handed pitching has come with an exit velocity above 100 miles per hour off the bat. He's hitting 250 with two with a home run, two extra base hits in the last 10 days. Absolutely smoking it right now. I'm going to go with Stone Garrett at plus 460. Now, I was also leaning towards Riley Adams for the Nationals. Maybe Aaron Judge for the Yankees. I just, again, I just do not love the Yankees lineup offensively right now. Even Aaron Judge um, up against Josiah Gray. So take that for what it's worth. <coughs> Excuse me. But again, uh, we're going to move back to the home run props. Going to go with uh, Mookie Betts at plus 360. He's hitting 500 with a home run against righties in the last 10 days. Of his eight hits in the last 10 days, five of them have had an exit velocity over 100 miles per hour off the bat. He's been hitting it hard. He should have more of that against Noah Syndergaard, who flat out stinks. I mean, let's call it what it is. He's allowed six home runs in his last three starts. Syndergaard has. I think Mookie Betts could get him at plus 360. Also going to look at Freddie Freeman at plus 510. This is purely a matchup play for me here. Freeman, 10 for 24 in his career against Noah Syndergaard. Five of those 10 hits have gone for extra bases, including a home run. It's going to be Freddie Freeman at plus 510. I'm also going to look at Austin Riley here at uh, plus 310. He's hitting 265 with two homers. Four extra base hits in the last 10 days against righties. Uh, he's the only active Brave right now with a home run off of Tyler McGill, who does have an ERA over 8 on the road this season for the Mets. I think Austin Riley worth a look here at plus 310. I'm also going to go with Eddie Rosario at plus 390. He's got three home runs, six extra base hits, with a 414 average in the last 10 days against righties. It's going to be Eddie Rosario at plus 390. I'm also going to take Marcel Ozuna at plus 325. He's got a 400 average with a home run and five extra base hits in the last 10 days against righties. So give me Marcelo Ozuna at plus 325. Obviously, you know, Matt Olson, Ronald Acuna Jr. in play as well for the Braves. 
On the other side for the New York Mets, I'm going to go with Pete Alonso at plus 300. He's got two home runs, four extra base hits in the last 10 days against righties. Now, I like Bryce Elder uh, against most of the Mets and in, in the last five games. But in the last five games for the Mets, um, Alonso against righties uh, has eight balls off the bat with an exit velocity over 100 miles per hour. He's crushing it right now. Elder, one of the more hittable pitchers in the Braves rotation. I think Pete Alonso gets another one here at plus 300. Also going to go with DJ Stewart at plus 450. He's got four homers, a 313 average against righties in the last 10 days. And in his last five games, five balls off the bat with an exit velocity over 100 miles per hour. So give me DJ Stewart at plus 450. I also lean towards Daniel Vogelbach, Brandon Nimmo, Francisco Lindor in that game as well. Now let me know if you guys have any plays in this Reds and Astros, excuse me, Red Sox and Astros game. You know, nothing jumped off the page for me personally. For the Astros against Tanner Houck, because the Astros haven't been great against right-handed pitching as of late. Maybe Yiner Diaz or Jordan Alvarez, who, when they are putting the ball in play, have been absolutely smoking it. A lot of hard contact there. Um, maybe those two. For the Red Sox, I was looking at Rafael Devers, Justin Turner, maybe even Tristan Cassis. But you never know when Justin Verlander is going to come out with a seven-inning gem. Um, so those would probably be my leans here, though. Devers, Justin Turner, Tristan Cassis for Boston. Maybe Yiner Diaz or Jordan Alvarez for Houston. But what, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, but we, before we get into our last few home run prop games for uh, Tuesday's action, I want to just take a break and remind everybody, obviously the purpose of this home run prop show is to put some money in your pockets by way of home run prop winners. But it's also to highlight the benefits of using the betting tools at Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place. The betting tools at Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place are where we get the graphics for this show directly from. What you see on the screen is what I see. There's no special tools for me involved. You know, I use the same tools that you guys do. You guys, you guys get what what the pros do, as they always say, out in uh, in different uh, different avenues. But you know, the betting tools you can see here. They show you the player prop. They show you how often it hits, and they show you the the. You can sorry, you can show see how often it hits over a five game sample size, ten game size, all games the season. You have you name it. But it also shows you which sports book is giving you the best possible price. Now, the nice thing about that is that you know you can look at that information. And if you don't have an account with the book that's giving you the best possible price, you click on that you know price, you go to that uh, sports book. If you're a new customer, you get a sports book bonus offer on us. You get to play that uh, best price with that bonus offer while also adding to your advantage over the books that they can't take away from you, which is your ability to shop lines and find the best possible number. You know, there's all you know, we all have different betting styles. We all have different ways we like to bet our bankroll. But you know, there's something with these betting tools for everybody. I mean, if you like betting hot and cold streaks, there's a streaks tool. Uh, if you like betting, you know, parlays, there's multiple parlay builders that will build a parlay for you based on the sport you like, based on the type of bet you like, player props, spreads, total, whatever. Um, profitable teams, profitable angles, profitable underdogs. list goes on and on. Like I said, we all have our own betting styles. We're all different in what we like to bet. But the one thing that unites us all is how much we like to make money. And I think these betting tools will do that for you. You just got to go over and check them out. But uh, let's get back into the home run prop action for... Uh, Excuse me. Tuesday's action. I'm gonna start. Go back to this matchup between the uh, the Cincinnati Reds and the um, the Los Angeles Angels. Rained out yesterday, but I'm going back to it here. I'm gonna go with Matt McLean at plus 390. He's got a 368 average against righties in the last 10 days with a homer and three extra base hits in total. He's going against Lucas Giolito, who has allowed six home runs in his last four starts, and uh, since joining the Angels, he has allowed 26 home runs this season. One of the highest totals of any starting pitcher in baseball. And of Matt McLean's seven, last seven balls off of the bat against uh, righties, five of them have gone with an exit velocity, average excuse me, average exit velocity over 95 miles per hour. So I'm going to go with Matt McLean at plus 390. I'm going to go with Ali De La Cruz at plus 460. Each of De La Cruz's last four balls off the bat against righties have come off at, an hour, at at least 97 plus miles per hour. Dude's absolutely crushing it right now. I think he can get one off of Lucas Giolito here. So I'm going to take Ellie De La Cruz at plus 460. I think there's lots of ways that you can go for the Reds here. Will Benson, Spencer Steer, TJ Frito all in play as well. Um, for the Los Angeles Angels standalone play, Old Faithful, Shohei Otani at plus 290. Not many bats I like for the Angels, but Otani is always worth a look. He's hitting 261 with two homers, four extra base hits in the last 10 days against righties. So take Shohei Otani at plus 290. Now, let me know in the comments if you guys are playing on anyone in this Twins and Brewers game. Bailey Ober starting for the Twins here. He's a lot of home run in six straight starts, eight home runs total. But no one on the Brewers has really been hitting all that well for power in the last 10 days against righties. On the other side, the same can be said for the Twins against lefties. Just a hard game, but it feels like there's, there should be something here. So let me know if in the comments if you guys are betting on this one. 
Uh, but moving back into the uh, home run props for Tuesday that we do have plays on. And I'm going to go back to this Mariners and uh, White Sox game. I'm going to go with Julio Rodriguez again at plus 310. He was scratched yesterday, but I'm assuming he's back here. And in his small sample size against White Sox starter Mike Clevenger, Rodriguez 3 for 5 with a home run. He's also hitting 432 in the last 10 days versus right-handed pitching with two home runs, seven extra base hits. So you take Julio Rodriguez at plus 310. Also going to take Cal Raleigh at plus 285. He hit a pair of home runs on Monday, like we mentioned earlier. Could go back-to-back games here with four home runs, seven extra base hits in the last 10 days against righties. So I'll take Cal Raleigh at plus 285. Also going to take Teoscar Hernandez at plus 360. Um, he's hitting 419 with two homers, six extra base hits in the last 10 days against righties with a home run on Monday. So I'm going to go with Teoscar Hernandez at plus 360. I also lean towards Luis Robert and uh, for the White Sox as well as uh, Andrew Benintendi. Benintendi also homered against uh, Seattle starter Brian Wu when they faced off uh, back in June. So lean towards Robert and Benintendi for the White Sox. For the Kansas City Royals, we're going to go with Bobby Witt Jr. at plus 500. It'd be nice to know who the A's are starting here, but I'm not sure it matters. Overall, in the last 10 days, Witt Jr. hitting 410 with four homers, seven extra base hits. So I'm going to take Witt, Bobby Witt Jr. at plus 500. And our last game on the board for the day, uh, we're going to go to the matchup between the Padres and, excuse me, not the Padres, the, uh, the Diamondbacks and the Rangers here. I'm going to start with Christian Walker at plus 460. I uh, didn't come through yesterday, but I'm giving him another shot here against John Gray um, with Walker hitting 346 with two home runs, three extra base hits against right-handed pitching in the last 10 days. Christian Walker in his career also hitting 385 against John Gray with two home runs, five extra base hits. So I'm going to go with uh, Christian Walker here at plus 460. I'm also going to look at uh, Corbin Carroll at plus 500. It's a 280 average with a pair of extra base hits in the last 10 days against right-handed pitching. Nothing strong for me here stat-wise. This is just a gut play for me, and my gut play has been pretty decent lately for what it's worth. So I'm going to take Corbin Carroll at plus 500. I'm also going to take Cattell Marte at plus 460. This is purely a matchup play for me here. Cattell Marte has been in a rut with an average just over, I think, uh, .050 in the the last 10 days against righties. But he's a career 419 hitter against John Gray with two homers, four extra base hits. So I'm going to take Cattell Marte at plus 460. And on the other side, for the uh, to, to round things out, I'm going to go with Corey Seager at plus 370. He's still got a 320 average with three homers, five extra base hits against righties in the last 10 days. Now, Zach Gallon hasn't allowed much, especially at home. But of, 15, of Gallon's 15 home runs allowed this season, nine of them have come against lefty bats like Seager. So I'm going to go with Corey Seager at plus 370. And our last play of the day, Nathaniel Lau at plus 650. Um, he's got he's hitting 286 with a homer, four extra base hits against righties in the last 10 days. So I'll take Nathaniel Lau at plus 650. Also lean uh, towards Adelise Garcia for the Texas Rangers in that one. But let's do a recap of the plays that we gave out for today's action for Dinger Tuesday. Like I said, gave out a lot here, so pick and choose the ones you like. Uh, but let's start with uh, Spencer Torkelson for the Tigers at plus 390. Seiya Suzuki for the Cubs at plus 750. Cody Bellinger at plus 600. For the Rockies, Ezekiel Tovar at plus 650. Ryan McMahon at plus 500, and Charlie Blackman at plus 480. For the Pittsburgh Pirates, Andrew McCutcheon at plus 480, uh, Brian Reynolds at plus 460, and Nolan Arenado at plus 450. For the Washington Nationals, Lane Thomas at plus 575, and Stone Garrett at plus 460. Lean towards Riley Adams and maybe Aaron Judge for the Yankees as well. Uh, For the Los Angeles Dodgers, Mookie Betts at plus 360. Freddie Freeman at plus 510. For the Atlanta Braves, we're going to go with uh, Austin Riley at plus 310. Eddie Rosario at plus 390. Marcelo Zuna at uh, plus 325. Leans towards Matt Olson and Ronald Acuna Jr. for the Braves as well. For the New York Mets, Pete Alonso at plus 300. DJ Stewart. At plus 450, would lean towards Daniel Vogelbach, Brandon Nimmo, Francisco Lindor. Um, for that, Red, Red Sox and Astros matchup, again, leans towards Yiner Diaz, Jordan Alvarez for Houston, and uh, Justin Turner, Rafael Devers, and Tristan Cassis for Boston. For the um, Cincinnati Reds against the Angels, we're going to go with Matt McClain at plus 390, and Ellie De La Cruz at plus 460, with leans towards Will Benson, Spencer Steer, and TJ Friedel. 
For the Los Angeles Angels, go Shohei Otani at plus 290. For the Mariners, Julio Rodriguez at plus 310. Cal Raleigh at plus 285. And Teoscar Hernandez at plus 360. For the White Sox in that game, I lean towards Luis Robert and Andrew Benintendi for a homer. For the Kansas City Royals, uh, Bobby Witt Jr. at plus 500. And for the, our last game, the Arizona Diamondbacks, Christian Walker at plus 460. Corbin Carroll at plus 500. Cattell Marte at plus 460. For the Rangers, Corey Seager at plus 370. And Nathaniel Lau at plus 650 with a lean towards Adelise Garcia for Texas as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. Up over 138,000 subscribers here on our YouTube channel. Couldn't have done them without your guys' love and support, so thank you so much for that. If you haven't already, please make sure you, you're subscribed to our channel. Smash that thumbs up. It really helps us out a ton. It lets me know that you guys like this home run prop content. It doesn't cost you a cent. And also make sure you have notifications turned on. This is a perfect example of why, you know, um, you know, we try to get these videos out as early as possible. This is coming out around 1 o'clock Eastern on uh, on Tuesday. I'm going to try to get uh, the video out a little bit earlier for Wednesday. Um, just because I think we do have some afternoon baseball, but just with uh, the nature of, you know, trying to get the, the most up-to-date information for you. Some teams like the Oakland A's still haven't released starting pitching. I can't wait for them forever, but I also want to be able to give you guys the most up-to-date info, up-to-date prices. So if you have notifications on, you get notified as soon as the video drops. Sometimes it doesn't always leave a whole lot of time between when the video is released and first pitch. But again, with those notifications, you get notified when the content's up, you get to get those bets in and, you get the content as soon as it comes out. Also, if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. And while you're at Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place, check out these betting tools. I promise you, you will not regret them. They're 100% free. They are there for you to use. Anything you find that is remotely close, if you find anything half as good as the betting tools, Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place, you're not going to get them for 100% free like we're giving these tools to you. So make sure that you check those out. Like I said, they are there for you and uh, they'll make you a ton of, ton of money. I promise you, you won't regret it. But again, thank you so much for watching. Let's crush the books on Digger Tuesday.